Hey guys, just doing a unboxing. This is Jay Lumsick here again uh, on the new Logitech uh, G502. I've misplaced my tripod, so I'm kind of just doing this on the fly here. Uh, this will be an unboxing and also a review. I'm not sure if I will add the review to this video or if it'll be an entirely new one. Um, yeah, we'll see how things go. I'm really excited to to uh, use this mouse uh, after reading some really good reviews and um, seeing some specs on it that I particularly like. Um, I'm really excited. Uh, just a quick couple of things. I know that I've heard that the sensor is supposed to be one of the best, or is the best at today's for today's mouses. Um, which is basically, uh, you know, there's going to be no acceleration, uh, high pulling rate, and, and, and such. Um, there is a few other things other than just the sensor. Just, I'm going to put you down for just one moment. Um, that, that stand out uh, for me. Uh, one is the trigger mouse or the the uh, mouse sorry the button on the left side here uh, is this one right here for the uh, scoping in that uh, I'll give you a little bit of brief description if you've seen some of my other videos you'd know that this G500 is my baby right here um, and I've used see you can see here it has three three buttons on the side and the one that I use for scoping is this this uh, third button here but if you can hear that it has a clickiness and this button because I've probably used it too much there's no sound anymore so it doesn't give me that tactile feel and I kinda accidentally press it and don't press it when I need to at times uh, for Battlefield 4 and it really uh, really bugs me but this one here yep has a nice clicky soundy feel has a thick uh, side uh, uh, you know uh, thumb rest has rubber soft rubber there it's got a, a rough feel plastic feel on the top here and it also has a soft feel on this part here and a rubber textured uh, side here too um, it also has a uh, weight management system same as the G9X and uh, the G500 and also my if I can find it the G700 um, but it's very different looking as you can see there because most of the time they're just the slotted where you let me see if I can find it here I don't I took them out because I want it to be as light as possible you can see that there where this one has the hexagon uh, style uh, weights that you add to it and it's held magnetically um, yep so uh, you know right off the bat from seeing the mouse look I didn't like it because it looks like it's it's going away from the type that I like which is the G500 or the, fi the 510 or 518 whatever this is 510 old mouse oldie but a goodie um, but I was I needed a mouse that uh, had the clicky thing because this is really bothering me in Battlefield before so I picked up this mouse and I got a good deal on it. I know there were some negative reviews and I could already feel and I saw in other videos the, the wheel. It's got no, like you can see on the G500, it's got a rubber center section there for the wheel, for, for uh, feel. Same with the G700 and probably the G9X, wherever it is. This one's a solid rubber wheel here. This one does not, so it, it, and it does feel slippery. Um, And the clicking, they say that it's pretty rough. I kind of don't mind it at all. I actually like it a little bit more rough, if you know what I mean. Um, braided cable, standard issue. The G lights up to be blue, which will match my system. And, uh, yeah. And there's the weight kit here. I'm just going to open it quickly if I could. There we go. All the different weights there. 
it's not focusing. I don't know why. There we go. Alright, so that's my unboxing. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.